Hello and welcome to episode 62 of my Salem tutorial series. This episode is going to be on humour foods that will allow you to get your humours between 100 and 150. Um, I've been doing a lot of experimenting and playing around with different foods. Um, for the foods that I'm going to be showing you Believe it or not, they're all basic foods. Um, the skills that we've learned in previous episodes will allow us to do all of these foods. And the way I'm going to do this is um, I've split four large urns apart, each one for a different coloured food. So the first urn is blue, the second urn is yellow, the third urn is red, and the last urn, of course, will be the black um, vial. Okay, so let's take a look, first of all, at the first humours for the first foods that you can use to raise up your phlegm. Okay, so if we open that up. Now, I've already mentioned to you in previously about garlic rabbit. How, if you use... I'm not sure, I'm sh pretty sure I mentioned the fact that if you use different meats you get the different uh, humours. But anyway, I shan't presume that I did, so I'll quickly go over it again. Right, first of all, the blue phlegm then, this humour. Here are some of the best foods you can use. The reason I say best foods are twofold. One, each of these foods, if you look, okay, when gobbled, this one, the Frogetti, gives you 54 uh, points into your uh, phlegm. This one, Garlic Rabbit, will give you 43. And this one, the Garlic Stuffed Mushrooms, will give you 47. And the Autumn Delight will give you 40. Notice they are all above 40 this one slightly but it's still 40 so that's one reason why these are very good foods to gobble so if we add that up 40 80 and another 80 160 you can potentially get your phlegm to 160 using just them four types of foods all of ingredients so to make this frogetti you have to use a snail so Oh, I can't bring the recipe window up because it goes bugged out when you get into go into your house. Uh, sometimes the icons bug out. But if you bring up the recipe for forgetty, you can either use you can use different types of um, insects to to use. You can use the snail or the caterpillar. So to make the phlegm, the blue humor food phlegm, you use a snail to make forgetty. To make the garlic rabbit phlegm food, you use a rabbit cut. To make the blue phlegm blue humour stuffed mushroom, you use the lavender bluet. Okay, by using that, you will get a, a, a stuffed mushroom that gives you phlegm. 47. Good, jolly good number. Okay, for the autumn delight, you must use an acorn. Notice as well, when you hover over the different foods, it tells you what you've used to make it. So for this star, stuff, garlic stuffed mushroom, it says made from wild garlic, made from lavender bluet. So it's a good idea to keep one of each of the foods in a large urn like I have uh, and don't use them because that's a reminder of what you need to, to uh, what component is needed to make that particular colour humour food. So okay, that's the phlegm. You can see I've got it to 68. Um, yeah, I jumped it head up ahead of the others. I wanted Again, I wanted to experiment on how much you're penalised if you get one of the humours vastly ahead of the others. And uh, I can safely say it's a good idea to keep, to increase them all, keeping them within five of each other. So get the top one to 55, and then bring the lowest one up to 50 and then to 55 so keep them all within five range so if these three were 50 don't go no higher with 50 in 55 in the next 
when you start to level them up more. Uh, and then bring all the rest up to 55. Then the next jump is to 60. And then 65, etc. So never going beyond 5. Okay, so let's look at the next humour food. So that's the phlegm. Next we're going to look at the yellow bile foods that you can use. Okay, for the froggetti, you just use a grub, which you can get by digging. If you use that, you will get a froggetti that will give you 40 to your yellow bile. Next, the autumn delight. If you use a pine nut, that will give you a yellow bile pine aut a, a yellow bile autumn delight food, which gives you 45 between 45 and 55, in fact. Um, that's why I said at the beginning between 100 and 150 humours. So you can see these components really easy to get. The stuffed mushroom uses a morel. With the morel mushrooms you have to boil them before you cook with them. If you don't, when you gobble this you'll get poisoned. Uh, and it lasts for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, so it is going to eventually dissipate. You can keep healing yourself, um, but it's not. You, you don't want to start using morels without boiling them, else you'll keep poisoning yourself. So there we go, there's the free foods. Now I haven't got the garlic rabbit version, um, because I'm presuming the meat for that must be either the deer, yeah, I'm presuming it's the deer that you need, a deer cut in order for the garlic uh, rabbit version. So that's the only one I haven't got for the yellow files. But still, having said that, between this one, which gives me 49, between 49 and 70, I didn't notice that before. That is a fantastic uh, food. So between that, that and that, you can easily get to 150 in your yellow bile and um, perhaps more but I won't say that. Um, I did mention earlier there's two reasons why these different foods are my favourites. Have you all noticed the timers? So when you gobble this it will give you a full and fed up for 15 minutes. The same for this one, the same for this one and the same for this one. That's the second reason why these foods are ideal. Some foods when you gobble them will give you a full and fed up for one hour, two hours. Pumpkins are a good one to demonstrate that. If I gobbled this, I would be full and fed up for six hours. That's ages. And I'm only gonna get a tiny little 19 into my black humor. So it's not worth gobbling pumpkins or any pumpkin foods that I've found so far. For getting to 150 in your humours, you should be focusing on just these foods. Because if I gobbled all four, right, that would give me um, that would give me 160 or over, and it'll only be for an hour because they're only 15 minutes each. Uh, likewise for the yellow bile foods, these are all 15 minutes each again once you gobble them. So maximum of 45 minutes and I can get my yellow bile up to 150. And that's just gobbling one of each. If I was to have two of each, well, then I'm going on towards 200 humours. So, and these are basic foods with really basic components, easy to make and little time when you gobble them. Okay, next one, let's look at the red, uh, the blood humour. Okay, so here we've got frogetti made using the caterpillar. Will give us a red, our blood humour food, and it will give us between 47 and 50, or is that 67? Between 47 and 67 into our blood humour, and it's only 15 minutes in length. Next, we have the garlic rabbit. You use a raw a timbler rattler cut so when you lead them rabbits to the snakes and they kill the snakes for you remember to uh, keep the meat very useful for making your garlic rabbit which will give you between 43 and 62 into your blood humor next we have the stuffed garlic stuffed mushroom uh, 
which will give you between 49 and 70 into your blood humor. Notice again, these are all using a maximum timer of 15 minutes into your full and fed. This uses the um, waxing toad stool. stool. Notice the graphic you can see is a white ghosted shading over it and if you hover over it it tells you it's boiled. With the waxing toad stills if you don't boil them you'll get poisoned so make sure you always boil these mushrooms before cooking the uh, garlic stuffed mushroom food. Okay and lastly we have the autumn delight which is made with a stray chestnut that will give you between 42 and 60 into your um, blood humor. So as you can see, there's four different types of foods that you can use. Now, one of the foods I noticed will give you um, more than, oh, I think it's in the next one. So anyway, there's the four different blood humor foods. You can easily get your blood humor to, to 200 using these, as you can see. Very simple components to get and very low timer on each one, 15 minutes again. I mean, we've not even gone into the other foods which are 45 minutes in an hour, but or 30 minutes. I'm sticking to the low timer foods so you can gobble more and uh, raise your humors quicker. So that's the blood humors. Next, let's look at the black bile foods. So the garlic rabbit, Okay, will give you between 47 and 67 to your black bile and you need to use a raw beaver cut so easily to come by that and that will give you a very good black bile food again 15 minutes the next one is now check out the stats on this this stuff garlic stuffed mushroom I made using a sugar cap and not only does it give me between 45 and 65 into my phlegm, my blue humor, so I can use this for either raising that humor or I can use it for my black bile. It will give me between 45 and 65 into my black bile. So if you use a sugar cap, you can then use this for either your phlegm or your black bile. Because we already have a phlegm blue bile humor stuffed mushroom which I've shown you already that's why I've stuck this one in the black piles okay the next one that you can make using a, a witch's hat again you have to boil this mushroom you do not have to boil a sugar cap okay that's why I prefer to use sugar caps um, easy well because easier because you don't have to boil them if you use a witch's hat not only does it only just give you the black um, bile, unlike the sugar cap, which will give you the phlegm and black, but this one has to be boiled, the witch's hat, which is extra work. So a bit more difficult, but if you've got lots of them, then that's obviously the route you'll take. That will give you this, uh, between 49 and 70 into your black bile. And last of all, the autumn delight which will give you between 40 and 57 into your black bile and it's only 15 minutes again and it uses a hickory nut remember hovering over and tells you what they're made from so there we go that's getting all of your four humors to at least 150 and if you gobble more than one of each then well what can i say you can get to 200 250 no problem at all and this is all with using basic items that are easy to come by. They are your best foods, what I've shown you here, for doing your humours. Remember though, this is only my opinion. There may be someone out there who's found some magic herb, herb and uh, you know, it gives them amazing stats and, and it's only a 10 minutes, I don't know, I haven't come across that. What I'm focusing on showing you here is simple to get food components for you to raise your humors. Now in the next episode we're going to look at making the uh, potion that gives you 750,000 inspirational points. Um, after that we're going to look into growing, as you can see I've started growing, 
Ah, right, I'm glad I just thought of this. Basically, to prepare yourself for the next episode, okay, you're going to need to grow pumpkins. Um, but I'm going to need to prepare you for the next episode. Um, that's all I really wanted to mention on the foods. Yeah, I'm gobbling, I'm eating normal, lots of normal foods, which I don't use for goblin. I'll get to them eventually. Let's first show you what you need to be aware of before the next episode. So the next episode is going to be on making the good potions. We're getting to the good stuff. They will give you 750,000 into your inspiration. I'll tell you the skills that you need to learn for it in the next episode, but the, the one thing I do want to show you, which you will need to know, is how you get one, I'll just show one of the components. It would have been nice if I could have um, actually had one ready to harvest, but it was too difficult to actually, uh, they grow too quickly with the way I do it, and you know, I couldn't have timed it. Okay, now when we make this potion in the next episode, you are going to need, um, let's see if I can actually find one to show you what it is I'm talking about. And this is probably going to be Mission Impossible because I've got my foods scattered all, I'm real mess here. It's a real organized mess. All right, it's not organized, it's a real mess. Um, but I've got stuff going all over the place now. I've got so many things I'm growing and doing. It's like if you I've never played a game where there's so many different oh here we go, this is what I wanted to talk about. Sugar treats. To make the potion that we are gonna be making, you you're gonna need different components. I'm only gonna show you one of the components now. The rest I'll show you in the next episode. But one of the components is the sugar tree. You can either buy it from the market in Providence from another player, or you can grow them yourself. In order to grow them, you're gonna first need to learn the skill, um, let's find it. And you are gonna to wanna to go this route, trust me, you don't wanna keep buying them. You're gonna to need to get, where is it? pumpkin planting. So it's not a great deal. You'll need 3,400 stocks and cultivars, 1,800 herbs and sprouts, and 1,150 in your arts and crafts. That will allow you to plant pumpkins. Okay, so learn pumpkin planting. Once you've learnt it, you will then need to keep repeatedly planting cotton in the places where you want to grow the pumpkins to make this potion. And the growing cotton, each time you harvest it, will increase the third, this bar here that I'm showing you, this is the simplest way to say it, and it will raise it a slight amount of blue each time. You need to get it to at least halfway up the bar, between halfway and fall, so between here and here, will get you these sugar treats. Now, when you plant the seeds, you must let them grow to stage two. So when you first plant your pumpkins, they appear as seeds in the ground that don't really give much of a graphic off. I wonder if I can show you one. The trouble is they grow too quickly um, or they grow too slow, you know, there's no in between. But anyway, so the first stage is when you plant them as seeds. Then if you come back the next day, you'll notice they've grown a stage. So that is the stage you need to harvest. They cannot be fully grown like this. If you harvest at this stage, you get the end product which is either going to be the aspen. Let's go over to here and show you. So if you harvest when they get to this stage, they're going to either be the aspen pumpkins or the Connecticut field pumpkins, depending on the how, what uh, stage the bar has got to. Um, also, you have the possibility of getting 
the baby bears. Baby bears you will get at the same time as well as the sugar treats. So the baby bears, I thought it told us that it needs to be stage two. No, it doesn't look like it does. Anyway, so when you plant the seeds, wait for the graphic to change so they've grown a bit, then you can harvest them. But there's only a point in doing that. There's no point in doing that until you've managed to get this blue bar to at least halfway up. Okay, it starts at the bottom, planting cotton. Keep planting cotton till it gets to halfway up. Or keep planting cotton till the blue bar, till this bar here fills right to the top. Once it's at the top, you're guaranteed then to get the sugar treats. And uh, you've got to wait until it gets to the second growing stage. So when you plant, plant the, they plant the seeds. Then if you wait, the graphic will change and they will be grown just a slight bit. They won't look, this is the fully grown you're wanting the next stage where they look partially grown. I will plant some, but I don't think that it'll be done in time. I mean, did I plant some up here? I think I did. So here's some seed stage. I think these are cabbages. Or it might be pumpkins. We'll see. Um, hopefully they would have got to the next stage. So I think I did plant some yesterday to hope to see if I could actually, by the time I get to the episode, have some. But of course, it's not till next week, so these are probably being well, they'll all be fully ripe by then. But you can see, you need to keep planting cotton, keep planting cotton, and this bar will keep raising. Notice hovering over this bar, it says cotton and tobacco. That's the two products you must grow in order to raise this bar. Ray, to raise this one, when you plant your pumpkins and harvest them, they will slowly raise the fourth bar. Uh, this one is cereal and corn. I haven't started growing any corn yet. I must do that soon. And the first one is cabbages and potatoes. So there we go. But the bar we're concerned with is this one. So you need to keep planting cotton or tobacco if you have it, although cotton's easier. So plant your cotton, when it gets to the second stage of growth, then harvest them and you'll get sugar treats. There we go, I've gone on, waffled on for much too long, but I've covered the two things that I wanted to. The first one, of course, the main one was getting your humours between 100 and 150, which I'm working on, not rushing it, I'm working on. And the second is preparing you for the next episode for the amazing 750,000 inspiration potions. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.